Wise have sent me a couple of watches. They're the bronze version of the Adamascus AD8. And everything that's in bronze is sealed against oxygen contamination. And although these watches are pre-production versions, they've sent them the right way, which is pretty cool. Now, apart from both watches being in bronze, there's a couple of different changes they've made on this model, which I think they've listened to the people. And one of those changes is the case itself is no longer fully polished. You've got a combination of brushing and high polish, and I think being bronze, that's gonna patina really well and create some decent character. But apart from that, if you haven't already noticed, the blue one, does not have the wavy pattern on it. Because a few people sort of said that the wavy pattern's nice, but it can be a little bit distracting, including myself. And now they've got one that's plain, and that looks pretty cool. And in the real world, I've actually found that an advantage. And not only that, they've also supplied this particular watch with a matte brushed ceramic insert. From my understanding, the rest of them all came in gloss. Now there is one or two small niggles that I want to see changed in the Adamascus in this particular model because I like the watch, I like the watch's wearability, I like its size, its footprint, it's extremely thin coming at 11.6mm for a 41mm that offers 200 meters of water resistance and absolutely exceptional loom. But there are a couple of things that are still lacking in my eyes. Now full transparency guys, Wise will be donating a watch of my color choice to the channel, however they have zero input into the review as always. Now, as per the original Adamascus 88, the specs have not changed as far as case dimensions. So you've still got a 41 mm case diameter with a lug to lug of 47.7. The case height is 11.6 and a lug width of 20. The crown still comes in at 6.4 millimeters. It's signed, screw down. The watch still features 200 meters of water resistance and the total weight of each watch on these leather straps comes in at exactly 80 grams. As I said to you guys before, I think the way that this watch sits on the wrist is ideal. The footprint at 41, that height is fantastic. I really can't fault. The wearability has always been comfortable with the black one that I have and reviewed. Same thing as these, it's wonderful. And I especially like the fact that this one's got a clean dial without the wavy pattern. It's really giving just a nicer, cleaner, more legible experience on the wrist. The leather straps on both of these seem to be comfortable. They do have bronze fittings and eventually when the lifespan of these two particular straps run out, I think you could remove that bronze tang buckle and place it on a different strap of choice. Now, completely different experience on the wrist from the blue. As you can see, this white and chocolate is, it's actually delicious. It looks, it looks very tasty. However, that wave pattern again, Albeit it is interesting, it can get a little bit busy in different lighting scenarios and can create legibility issues. So be aware of that. As far as the wearability, they're exactly the same case. The height is fantastic. The comfort, not a problem. Having a closer look at this white and chocolate brown color, you can see it's got the wavy pattern on that doll and the doll itself is like a pearl white. It's like a warm toned white. I think the color palette they've chosen really suits. The handset and markers on both watches are rose gold colored, as you can see. At the moment, it matches that case in tonality. However, once that bronze case begins to patina, all that luster and bling will disappear. The blue one to me has been a more interesting experience because with that plain dial, with that clean dial, you get a nicer, for me anyway, you get a nicer experience of reading the time. And matched up with a matte brushed ceramic insert, I think as this watch starts to patina, the overall look will be more in line with a vintage aesthetic. And speaking of that bezel, again, this is one of my gripes. The bezel itself for me is a little bit stiff. It's been stiff in my black version. It's stiff in this one as well. Okay, these are pre-production versions, but if you have a listen, that's very, very hard. It's got a good action. It's got no back play whatsoever, but you know what? It's so hard to turn. In fact, both the watches are exactly the same. That's really hard to turn in. Look, I've complained to Wise. I said to them, I prefer a softer bezel. You guys should really loosen up. The bezels are a little bit stiff and they've said, look, this is the way they're gonna go with this. So there's no accidental movement when the watch is on the wrist. Nothing a little bit of CRC, maybe some silicon spray can actually loosen those up. But as far as the bezels lining up, spot on and spot on on that one as well. So even though they are pre-production versions, the quality control is what I've come to expect from this micro brand from Thailand. And you gotta remember, these guys have been around since 2008. So they've been doing this for a while and the watches I've got on the channel seem to be on a very good level as far as quality control is concerned. 
Now, if we turn the watch over, as you can see, you've got the Miyota 9015, you've got a display sapphire case back. There are no markings on these watches because they are pre-production versions. However, the production versions will have all the details on the back there. And in saying that, these watches are gonna be produced in limited numbers. Being bronze, this one is gonna be produced in 666 units. <laughs> Why they chose that number, I don't know. And this one, 333. And pricing wise, pricing structure, they're both gonna come in at 659 US dollars. However, on their website, they've got a code. If you type that code in, you can save an extra $35 on top of that price. Now with all watches, we have positives and negatives. And for me, first cab off the rank with both of these watches, that bezel, too stiff. I suppose I'd prefer to have a stiffer bezel than something that's a little bit too loose. But in saying that, for my liking, that's way too stiff. And for me, it slightly takes away from the enjoyment factor. Second negative, and I mentioned it before, the wavy pattern can create a bit of a distracting look, especially when it comes to legibility. In differing lighting situations, that might be an issue. You just find that sometimes you have to look twice to get a gauge on time. Third negative, at the moment, the watches look very blingy, very loud, and that's only because of the fact that they haven't patinaed. But once that settles into place, I'm sure that'll be great. And my final negative of these watches, the fact that these are limited to 300 plus pieces, 600 plus pieces, it's a bit of a bummer. I think just make them, let people buy them. And if you find that they stop selling out after a year, stop producing them. If there's high demand, just make more. Moving away from the negatives, the positives of these watches is the build quality, very good. The fact that they've listened, they've actually put brushing as well as high polished on that case, that's great. Because that's a lot of the comments were saying they don't like a fully polished case. And you know what? They've listened, they've done it on both of them, well done. And I think being brushed and polished, you're gonna get a nice patina with some decent character. Second positive is the size and wearability. I've spoken about it before, these are phenomenal. These wear on the wrist really well for an automatic to be that thin, that comfortable. Hats off, well done. So nothing's changed in that department. And the last positive is that ceramic insert on that blue one. The fact that it's gone matte, I like it, well done. Again, they're listening to the viewers, they're listening to the comments, so when manufacturers make these small, subtle changes and you see them in a final product, I think it makes a big difference how you view that manufacturer. Lastly, the loom on both watches is phenomenal. Super Luminova, light old Radium X1 on the blue one and BGW9 on the white one, and there's no qualms, no faults in that department. I've enjoyed all of Wise's watches when it comes to loom. These things, they're no different. Get on their website guys, I'll leave the links in the description. These will be available, they're actually available now for pre-order. They're gonna be shipping in March 2023. They are limited, so getting fast, because once these sell out, they're gone. Hit me up in the comments, let me know your thoughts about these two watches. Good to see a couple of changes, good to see that they're in bronze for a slightly different wrist experience that will change and age, increasing character as time goes on. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.